In this video, I'll take you through the process of calibrating a lens. I have a Canon T3i with 1855 millimeter lens set up here in this closet. It's in a closet because I have a constant light source. I have it pointed at the wall. Autofocus set to true. I'm going to focus the camera and then turn off autofocus. I don't want it to be focusing while I'm doing the lens calibration. See the USB cable goes out underneath the door to the computer outside. That way the light from the computer won't disturb the constant light source here in the closet. On the shutter tab, I'll set the bulb mode to one second. On the control tab, I'll set to manual mode, TV equals bulb, aperture is the smallest F number, ISO 100, tungsten white balance for the lighting in the closet. On the setup tab, small fine JPEG for image quality and neutral picture style. On the auto ramp tab, I'll check auto ramping on. I'll press the shutter button a couple of times as a test. You can see the wall of the closet and the luminance value of about 109. So I'll set the target luminance to 109. These other settings are not important while doing a lens calibration. Now I'll go to the project settings and click the auto ramp tab. In the lens calibration box, I'll check the reset button. This builds a list of F numbers for the attached lens at its current zoom factor. The F numbers are different at different zoom settings. I'll check follow FSOP calibration script. This builds a script with 20 steps at each F number in the list. The script will start at a bulb time of one second, but the bulb time will double when the F number increases by one, F, one full F stop. For this script, there are over 5 full f-stops, so the bulb time will increase to over 32 seconds. 17 f-numbers at 20 images each is a total of 340 images, so the script will run for about 2 hours. I'll leave the project settings and begin the time-lapse program. Auto ramp will adjust the bulb time to maintain the target luminance. Okay, the script has completed and the program ended. You can see that the uh, last image was captured at a 45 second bulb time, an aperture of f29. If I look at the, if I click the history tab, and look at the recent history, you can see that the aperture was steadily being increased, and whenever the aperture increased, auto ramp changed the bulb time. So whenever the aperture changed the bulb time changed and then settled down to a steady value. It uses the last 10 images at each F number and averages the bulb time to calculate the actual F number. If I look in the image capture folder, I can find the lens calibration file. I'll edit it to look at the correction table. Here you can see f4.5 is actually f4.4. These are all normalized to f16. So f22 is actually f23.062. So each num f number is followed by the actual f number value. Now when I use this lens again at this same zoom factor, I can go to the project settings. Auto ramp tab and load the table I just built. It's in my capture folder. Here it is. So I loaded in the, the correction table I just calculated 
And if I check lens f-stop correction, it'll use, it'll use these corrected values. This will minimize any flicker due to changes in aperture during a time lapse. That's the basic procedure. Remember, you must have a constant light source to do this calibration. If the light changes, you'll get a bad correction table. Good luck and happy time lapse.